Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Now I know it's been a while, uh, the last video I actually uploaded was from about three weeks ago. Uh, well, two weeks ago when I uploaded it, it's been almost almost a week since then. Um, but anyway, uh, last time we went up to the Cape and rescued Bill, got ourselves an SS ticket. And got to see some of his EV evolutions. Uh, off screen, I did a lot of stack grinding. And I, since I was going ahead and grinding Pokemon anyway, I raised our Nidorno up to level 16, or Nidoran up to level 16 and evolved him. I say it's about time we took it one step further. Uh, let's do it. I might want to shut that back off. Uh, controller settings. Turn off turbo way. Forgot I had that on from when I was playing Harvest Moon, but... Oh, well. Anyways. What? Nidorno is evolving. And that was that. Now, for you guys to think that, because uh, in the beginning of these videos, or the few first few, I sit there and said that uh, the, all the Pokemon on our team would be once chosen by the, our group. And you might now think, since I have two that we've never actually debated, that I'm just cheating the group by putting them in. No, they actually were debated for. Uh, Pikachu was Parker's original pick. Uh, cause he didn't really know any Pokemon. Uh, and Dylan chose between either Charmander or, uh, Noodle King. And since we already had, uh, Charmander on our team, uh, he went to go ahead with Noodle King. Unfortunately, in the end, they weren't on the top for our team. So, although they were discussed, so I'm not by any means stepping out of bounds of the group. Anyways, let's switch our Pikachu over. Is it just me or does the screen seem a little glitchy to you guys? Yeah, it seems to be starting and stopping, starting and stopping. I don't know what that's all about. I might have to look into that after this video. Anyways, in we go. Yeah, it is. It's slowing down and going really fast, ain't it? I don't like that. Um... I was planning on doing a lot today, but with the screen glitching like that, I might just face Misty and the Team Rocket grunt. Hey, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My philosophy, or policy, is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Uh, Misty has two Pokemon, uh, Staru and its evolved form of, uh, Starmie. Lost the name for a second. Uh, both of them have Rapid Spin and Water Pulse. Uh, I believe they also both have Harden, I'm not sure though. Uh, and if this is later gens, they would also have Recover. I'm not sure if they do here or not. But... Water Pulse is definitely the move you want to think of, because it is, at this point, a very strong special type attack. Most of the Pokemon you get up to this point are not special, don't have good special defense. Unless, of course, you choose Bulbasaur as your starter. Uh, but anyway. Uh, and her uh, Water Pulse also has a chance to do Confusion, so. Yeah, if you don't have a Grass or Electric Pokemon by this point, I would... Highly, highly recommend getting one, or you're going to have trouble with this gym. Her star is a piece of cake. It's her star me that you got to be worried about. No, I will not change Pokemon. Um, I believe not even this Pikachu being level 25 is faster than it, and it's level 21. 
Oh, nope, it is. Wow, that's surprising. Uh, usually if I use a Pikachu at this point, I can have him at level 28, and Starmie's still faster. See, right there, I did half my health, so... Thankfully, Pikachu's faster, so I should be able to kill it with this one. Oh, one HP, are you kidding me? And it's gonna use Water Pulse again, and that's gonna be Pikachu. Sorry, Pikachu. Uh... You know... Just for the hell of it, I well, shoot. I've just realized I'm not faster than him. <laughs> Oops. It right, doesn't matter. Use the super potion anyway. Uh, Starmie is also a very tanky Pokemon. Uh, having both mid-range defense and special defense, it's a hard Pokemon to take down. And I believe this is going to one-shot Fury. Oh, nope. Wow. And of course I missed. Oh, well. Goodbye, Fury. Oh, Swift is a never-attacking... Or never-missing attack move. I believe it only has 20 power, though. Or it only does 20 HP or something like that. Alright. Alright, come on, monkey. You got this. Let's go with the Mega Punch. How's it you and fucking water bolts? I mean, I know you know different moves. See, like I said, it has a chance to confuse you. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna hit myself in confusion. Yep, there goes Monkey. <sighs> Alright. Thankfully, Faith or er, Pidgeotto is a very tanky Pokemon. That's really the only thing it has going for it. But if he crits me, I'm out of the running. So let's hope that does not happen. Oh, I got a crit. Awesome. Man, that beeping when you're at low health is so annoying. I really wish they'd take it out. I mean, seriously, half the time you're playing this, you're playing it in public with the volume off anyway. Wow, you're too much. Alright. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you you beat me. Bros get 2100 Poke Dollars for winning. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outside, even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime, even outside of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. Rose received TMO3 from Misty. Rose put TMO3 in the TM case. TMO3 teaches Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Uh, Actually, if you really wanted to, if you're playing along using the same Pokemon as me, you can use that on Nidoking, if you so wish. Me, I'll be saving it for a bit later. But anyway, onward. I really don't like how that screen's glitching. Um, I'm actually going to try fixing that real quick, guys, so hang on and I'll meet you back here. Uh, yeah, guys, I can't quite figure out what that problem is with why it's doing that, so I'm just going to go ahead up here and fight this Team Rocket member up here, and then, uh, oops, wrong way. And then, uh, end it off until I figure out what that is, because I am really, really not liking it, so here we go. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh, me? I'm just an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? Oh, shoot, we forgot to heal. <laughs> Oops. 
Uh, that could have been disastrous. Chris, we have Nido King, so we shouldn't be too worried. Focus energy. I believe focus energy guarantees you'll land a crit on your next move. So, if I knew he was gonna use that, I just would have used Gust in the first place. And that ends that. He's got 319 experience. All right. Team Rock Grunt's about to send out Drowsy. Uh, if Nidoking King wasn't a poison type, I would consider it. But for now, I guess we're gonna have to stick with the Faith. That faith grew to level 25. Alright. Team Rocket Grant. Stop. I give up. I'll leave quietly. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Rose recovered TM 28 from Team Rocket Grant. Uh, TM 28 contains Dig. Uh, we'll get into that later, but for now, because of the way my screen's glitching, um, for I don't know why. Might not even be glitching for you guys, but it is for me. Alright, here, I'll walk from here, over here to the Pokemon Centers. Alright, normal, stop, normal, stop, normal, stop, normal, stop. Yeah, he walks for a little bit, and then it glitches, stops him. And then he walks a little, then he walks fast. You know, I, d I don't get what's going on with it. I honestly don't. Uh, hopefully I can figure out what that is by the time I go to my next video. Or if I figure out what it is before I, uh, upload this, I might just add it on to the end of this. So, I'm not going to do a proper send-off this time, just in case. If so, I will edit it in a proper send-off. So, I'll see you guys then. Hey, guys, no more glitching! Woohoo! Alright, um... If you can tell by the silence at the moment, this is a voiceover. Um, I was originally planning to do this with uh, George's Shy Shy and Misty, but unfortunately we didn't have time to uh, do it during the week, so... Unfortunately, since I got a live stream to do in a half hour, um, I'm just going to play random music for the last 11 minutes of this. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. And I do apologize if you don't like my music. It's a little on the older side, but I like it, so... <laughs> His eyes are cold and restless, his wounds have almost healed. And she give half a Texas just to change the way he feels. Well, she knows his love's in Tulsa, and she knows he's gonna go. Well, it ain't no woman in flesh and blood, it's that damn old road he goes.
He'll sell off everything he owns just to pay to play her game. And a broken home and some broken bones is all he'll have to show. For all the years that he spent chasing this dream they call Rod Eagle. Oh, well, it's a buzz and blood, it's a dust and mud, it's a roar of a Sunday crowd. It's a ride in the nuts, the gold in the buckle kill win the next go round. It's boots and shabs, it's cowboy hats, it's spurs and let it go. It's ropes and the reins and the joy and the pain, and they call the thing Rod Eagle. It's a bronze and the blood, it's a steers and the mud, and they call the thing And this is my battle realm. The world's greatest heroes and villains under my spell. Forced to fight in my cosmic contest. Come on, buddy, and freeze us already! Uh, fine. As you were. Collect Marvel heroes, form alliances, face off in the ultimate contest of champions. Who's on your team? Download for free. It's the same old tune, fiddle and guitar. Where do we take it from here? And stone tanks and big shiny cars. They've done the same way for years. Nobody told me. When I got into Nashville, son, you really got it made. Old Hank made it here. We're not sure that you will, but Hank, Hank, Hank done it this way. Hank, Hank done it this way. Making one night stands. Are you sure Hank done it this way? Does Hank really do it this way?
All right, guys. Um, I figured I'd commentate the last few minutes. I'm sorry for that little ad in between songs. I was sort of playing it off Pandora, and an ad popped up. And since I had the thing recording, I couldn't really stop it. Uh, and I think I'm going to leave it in there, just because it's funny. Uh, that was, of course, an ad for Marvel's Collectors. I'm, I'm going to laugh if I get flagged for that. That's going to be hilarious. But, anyways, uh, that Butterfree. <laughs> That Butterfree really, really kicked my ass. Now, I know I could have left Pokemon in, and I maybe would have only lost one. But I didn't feel like doing damage to myself, so I kept switching out and switching out and switching out. I've never seen Supersonic hit that many times. At once. In a row, anyway. It really, really sucked. The reason I didn't put that first paralysis or paralysis on the counter is because that's expected. But then you get parafusion, and that's bullshit. Then you bring out your next Pokemon, he gets poisoned, then confused. Bullshit. You know, I have n I faced a level 100 Butterfree, and it was not that hard. Anyways, this guy right here gives you the old rod, which is used for catching Magikarp. So if you didn't want to buy the one back uh, near the entrance to, yeah, the cave, uh, you can catch them now for free. Uh, this guy right here, uh, I didn't feel like reading it, so I just scrolled through it really, really, really fast. If you want to pause and read it, be my guest, but once you're done listening to, you, or to him, he gives you the bike voucher. Uh, I actually do this in this video. After you do this, you can go back and get... Uh, that stuff, so, yeah. And yes, I actually did run back manually. I was betting whether or not I wanted to run through that, uh, three piece of grass there. I didn't really want to. And if you couldn't tell, this whole thing is fast forward. Or most of it was fast forwarded, so, yeah. And the thing I like about the emulator, if you're in fast forward and you hit the right fr frame, you can glitch through the screen like that, and it looks like he's just floating. That is awesome. I've only managed to do it a couple times, though. If I can figure out how to do it on cue, that'll be very worth it. Anyways, you come in here with a bike voucher, and you get the bike. Now, with 30 seconds left in this, I'm going to do my outro. I believe it's called. Uh, what I plan for the future for Pokemon Fire Red is I'm going to record about a 15-minute episode, then have a voiceover with Georgia Shy Shy and Misty. But that's really all I have for today. So I'm sorry it took so long to get this video out, but we had some issues. So this has been Benjamin Hoskins with Assassin Bros, and I will see you later.